Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me again for yet another review of a hurly, curly hair, curly hair product. Today, I want to talk to you about the Miele Pomegranate and Honey um, Coil Sculpting Custard. So this was has been on my list to review for a while. Um, I was waiting for it to go on sale on Amazon because it is a little bit pricey in my opinion uh, for a hair product. However, um, once it did go on sale, I jumped at the chance to buy it and I've heard good things about it from other folks that have tighter curls than I do. So I, I thought, why not give it a try? It can't hurt. So this, this custard is supposed to be super like natural. It says enhances curls with deep definition for thick, curly, type 4 hair. And I know what you're thinking, I do not have type 4 hair, I have type 3A, B, or C. Um, mostly around 3B. And I just really wanted to try it. So on the back it says, prime and define and enjoy. Um, our pomegranate honey and honey collection is a prime and define styling system. Uh, formulated for thick, curly type 4 hair, however perfect for any curl pattern. Uh, Pomegranate Honey Scalp and Custard is a, high, is a lightweight, easy to finger comb formula for long lasting, deep definition, brilliant shine. So the definition is quite deep, product consistency is quite light, and Miele is, is a good brand. They, you know, um, they, they provide um there are nurses oh the the maker was a registered nurse and wife and mother of two girls who desired to share her healthy hair journey using products with organic ingredients amazing so my um routine just consisted of the same old thing um wash wash and condition and then once i'm done that uh i put oils on the scalp as I've mentioned many times, I put oil at the bottom of the hair. Uh, it's getting to winter here, so we are, um, you know, gonna get into dry season for the hair. And then I do, once I do those both, I apply this cream sectioned off um, in each of the sections a little bit on my hands. I did notice the product was a bit runny, so I had to use a little bit at a time, which does slow me down a little bit in my routine. So I, um... I apply it all over the hair, I squish it in, it gets quite noisy, so it's really good. It does get through into all of the hair nooks and crannies that you need it to, which is awesome. Um, and then I tie it up and come out and I um, dry my hair with my Diva Curl uh, Diva Dryer. And what I noticed was that the product residue would get on the dryer hand very easily. So if you're not married, Oh, and I just dropped it. <laughs> if you're not married to your Diva dryer, it's fine. Mine has a bit of a gunk like layer on top and the hair sticks to it a little bit and it gets a little fluffy. Um, I'm okay with it. You just need to wash it every once in a while or use some al rubbing alcohol to clean it. Um, I personally don't like it to get gucky like that all the time and this product does leave that kind of residue on your diffuser. So if, if you're sensitive about your diffuser, you want to protect it, maybe not the right product for you. I do recommend my other product which is, well it's not mine, but the Catwalk uh, Curls Rock product it is my favorite still. Um, so that is my two cents on, on drying. But it does come out with similar results. It does get quite casty, like very, like, um, hard. Uh, but you can get rid of it. It'll go away after a few days and it'll leave you with your hair feeling like very soft at the end of it. So it doesn't feel like it's damaged at all, which is amazing. Um, and it does define it for the same amount of time as, you know, the Curls Rock catwalk would, would do. So that's awesome. If you're looking for a natural product, this would be a good one uh, for anyone with hair type 3B and up, I would say. It's quite defining and you can, you know, define your curls yourselves as well. And it will, it will hold if your hair is kind of porous like that. 
Um, anyway, I'm recently looking for a new um, dry uh, diffuser head type. So if you guys have any suggestions on what diffuser head type fits the Diva dryer, um, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you um, and grow the community of curly haired girls. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.